Hey guys, welcome back to the Toby Tobia channel. As the title suggests, you're gonna watch me install this lovely wig that I purchased from Ali Julia here. And if you notice on my channel, I have a video, you can click right here, where I bleach the knots on this lovely wig. So here I am reinstalling it for like the second or this is my third time installing it and you're just gonna watch me install it at one point i kind of flat iron the hair but trust me this hair is super super soft so as long as i put it like if i put it in a ponytail like a low ponytail it takes the curls of the folding or if i wrap it up overnight it already takes the curls of any position that i put it in so it doesn't really stay bone straight uh but yeah so before we get into the video, I just want to go ahead and shout out the first five persons who commented down on my most recent video and you can also comment down below on this video to be a part of my shout out gang in the next video. So I have Shadia Gibbons, thanks girl, Nicola Minot Green, she's always commenting on my videos, that's actually my auntie. Uh, Mali Pink, she's a YouTuber, she does pranks and all that jazz. Go check her out, guys. I'm gonna have her link down in this description box. Also, Jamon Leslie, thanks, cuz, and Sashika Rose, that's my girl. I'm gonna have her link down in the description box because she's also a YouTuber. Thanks, guys, for commenting down below. Make sure to watch to the end of this video, and I could just go and roll the flame, the flame, the film, the. Bling, bling. I could just start the video. <laughs> Mic testing. So here I am, guys. I started off with freshly washed hair that was flat twist. I did it on my own. Um, so here I am showing you the got to be glues that I use. I use the freeze spray and I also use the invisible styling gel. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the periphery of my hair using a toothbrush and kind of straightening back my baby hairs, pulling it back. And you're going to do this about two to three times with the got to be spray because it's going to actually stiffen your edges or your baby hair and it's going to stiffen them in the exact position that you put them so that's why you see me going again with the toothbrush uh, so after i've sprayed as much as i could i went ahead with my blow dry for a couple minutes and i went and dried it and i went back in with the spray because i wanted it to be stiff and i didn't want it to i didn't want to have any flyaways or anything sticking out from under my wig there I go, adding my wig cap. Yes, this is an old wig cap because sometimes I just prop on my wig and go on the road without gluing it down. So you can see that I already have foundation on it. You can use uh, any color foundation or concealer, anything to kind of mimic or match the shade of your scalp. And as the glue is kind of on the periphery of my hair, the cap already kind of came in contact with that glue so it's kind of sticking already to my head and as you can see this part is self-explanatory i'm just adding holes at the ears just to have the cap kind of position over my ears or so then after this i'm gonna actually spray the wig cap you're gonna see how it's gonna get wet and moist again and as i sprayed then i'm gonna add the blow dry and just stiffen it back so that the stocking cap sticks to my head and as you can see i didn't cut off the lace around my ears i found a new tip i actually keep that section uncut so that the wig cap stays down and it it applies a little pressure tension to the wig cap at the front so that it stays now i'm gonna go ahead while i'm waiting for that to dry i'm gonna go ahead with my needle and thread um and i'm gonna sew down the stocking cap at the back to well the bump at the back of my head i'm sewing it down so that the stocking cap doesn't really move around and i am also going to brush up the hairs at the back of my head those little roly roly hairs yes i'm brushing them i'm brushing them up and then I'm going to start cutting away the stocking cap.
so after cutting away the excess of the stocking cap on my forehead i'm gonna go ahead and actually fit the wig to my head as you can see i'm cutting away because i kind of have an idea of where my wig already sits and as you can see i still left a little bit of the stocking cap around my ears so i'm fitting the wig i see where it sits and now i'm ready to cut off the extra stocking cap around my ears so i'm just gonna flick that back yeah i'm ready i'm gonna put my hair away and then I'm gonna just go ahead and cut what I need to cut off. Now I am ready to add my invisible styling gel. As I've added it, I smooth it with my comb and I'm gonna go ahead and blow dry it. You're going to do this until it reaches a clear white sticky consistency and then i'm actually spraying the got to be free spray to my wig i don't know if this is a tip or a hack or anything but it helps my wig to stay better to glue down just a little bit better so i'm slowly applying the wig you don't need to rush this part guys you just need to slowly add it of course i sped up this clip but i was actually doing it very slowly After I finished installing the wig and everything this is actually the hard part for me because this is where I'm actually gonna have to clean up the hairline and try to make baby hairs without tweezing or anything I'm not ready to tweeze this wig as yet so here I am gonna go ahead oh I still haven't cut down the stocking cap around my ears as yet I wonder why I don't remember why I did that but I'm shaving down the sideburns with my eyebrow razor. And now I'm actually cutting off the stocking cap around my ears. So after I've finished cutting away all of the excess stocking cap, I'm ready to spray down my sideburns with got to be free spray. And I'm just gonna soup that with my toothbrush. And after I'm gonna go in for a lengthy period with my hot comb. I still don't know how to use this thing. As you can see, I think at one point the lace was lifting again because the glue wasn't dried as yet and I went in with the hot comb. But bear with me, I'm just gonna go ahead with it. Also wanted a center part. I haven't done a scent well. I think I've done a no, I haven't done a center part on this week. So as you can see, the hair is not really laying as I would like it, and so I had to make some passes with the hot comb. And yeah, I did just that so by this time I was fed up with the hot comb and I went ahead and applied a little mousse and I have two types of mousse but I kind of just use a blend of them they both work the same and then I went in with my astringent for my face and I was finished. Look at those girls. They are beautiful. So the next day now I realized the sideburns were lifting up. And yes, I was recording again in the same shirt. But what I do want you guys to check out are these satin scrunchies. Check in the description box down below. I have a link to my business page. I'm currently selling them. Check it out guys. So I'm going to go ahead and flat iron my hair. I just want to point it out right now, I'm not a hair guru at all, but I just like doing my hair, I like doing beauty, and 
if I can try to do it myself, I'll try to do it myself. So I went ahead and started flat ironing the hair. I didn't really want it bone straight, but I just wanted to take out a couple of the curls. I even got so tired of using the flat iron that flat iron and comb that I started just holding the hair with my hand and I flat iron it. I don't advise anyone to do it this way, but this was the way I know or knew or this is the way I know how to flat iron. I don't advise it to anyone, but I was so tired with having the comb and the flat iron that I just started just holding the hair myself and flat ironing. So after a lengthy period of flat ironing, I kind of like the results of the, the side. So I moved on to the next side and I just continued like so like that. <laughs> I like the results, like I'm not tripping. I like the results. It wasn't bone straight, but I really liked the results. Now I was ready to do my edges, my baby hair. So I went ahead and took the hair back behind my ears so let's do this baby hair so first I wanted to push back the hair just a little bit with the flat iron so ignore the ashiness but because I got to be glue kind of sprayed I sprayed my got to be glue on the edge so that's why it's not it doesn't look cakey which I love but it is very stiff like exactly where i sprayed the got to be it stays okay so that's why i use two layers i use the got to be spray and i also use the got to be glue all right so i'm gonna go ahead with this chunk of hair and i'm gonna pull out hopefully a little piece from this end that oh i actually cut this down short so these hairs that i cut down short were hairs that I actually cut down and then um it was just a test and then i decided i didn't bother want it to be cut down because i don't like the abrupt cut and i'm supposed to use like an eyebrow razor but i'm gonna go ahead and cut with the scissors so there so this is the curve that i want i want a swoop uh, that big not that big so i'm gonna go ahead Sometimes it looks totally, totally unrealistic. My clear mind is looking unrealistic right now. But no problem. Alright, so I'm going to do, instead of using the glue, I'm going to use a little the mousse. And actually put that on my hairs. And now I'm going to go ahead and brush them. But comb them in the way I want them to go. Okay, that wasn't so bad. That actually wasn't bad. Okay, I want a little bit more swoop. i be extra now. I want a little bit more swoop. Hmm. Trial and arrow. No! I have not. I think I should do the rest of these off camera. And then come back to y'all with a finished look. So at this point, I thought I was finished. I had continued with the mousse and done a couple edges. But, child, this was not looking even. So y'all see that my edges are totally different from what you saw on the video. Because I kind of, I didn't like it. And I didn't want to end the video with those terrible edges. These are not the best either. But at least they look a little bit cuter from this distance up close they're probably cakey 
the glue and everything but I tried guys I, I, I'm gonna learn how to do edges baby hairs all of that another time but I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up please if you like it if you like the video or if you like me I can't leave a thumbs up make sure to comment down below and also share this video with a friend of a friend to an ex friend to your auntie sister cousin family come on girls we can do this weight thing all on our own we can so just share it help a friend out because trust me if you watch my video from start to end no skips you're gonna see it's pretty easy to install a wig on your own but if you want professional help clearly I need professional help with the baby hairs you can still get your hair done at the salon but on to the next video if there is a um, video you want me to try make sure to comment down below so bye guys